Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna do the most stereotypical thing of all time. As Americans, we're gonna drink Guinness for St. Patrick's Day. I've never done a St. Patrick's Day video on my YouTube channel, I don't think. I've been doing I've what we did beer reviews for like 10 years almost. I've never done a St. Patrick's Day video. So uh, here's Guinness. Everyone knows Guinness, right? We don't really need to talk about this. It says right on the can, established in 1759. Um, I've heard that Guinness is better in Ireland than it is here. I don't know how that's a thing because don't these get imported? Brewed in Ireland by Guinness. I don't like, why is this worse here than it is in Ireland? I don't know, but I've heard that. So it says imported uh, by Diego. Diago Beer Company. Um, it is, what is this, 5%? What is Guinness? Do you guys know? 5%? Come on. We have the serving size and the calories, but it doesn't show the ABV. It's got to be on here. <laughs> How is that possible? My goodness gracious. I think it's around 5%. I have no idea. How the fuck is this not on the can? How have I never noticed that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Whatever. Uh, these cans have a little widget in them. They're, they've got nitro, all that good stuff. Um, we're gonna use our permanent hangover uh, glass because it's appropriate. This is the little two kind from the, what is it? The my goodness, my Guinness little signs they used to have in bars all the time. So. I probably didn't pour that right, but you know what? Whatever. The fun part about Guinness is that it does that little cascade thing. It's fun to kind of watch that. I cannot believe there's not an ABV on this can. We gotta let this sit for a second. Aren't you supposed to let it sit for like at least a minute? You know what? I should actually, because it's not gonna look any better now that there's no beer in this can. Um, I should pause this and do the thumbnail for this uh, video. I think that's what I'm gonna do while we sit and watch. I don't know, even know if you guys can see that cascading, but it looks cool. I like it. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take a picture real quick. I'll be right back. All right, we got our picture done. We're all good. So yeah, this thing's done cascading. It is full AF. Uh, it is a cool like ruby red color, um, and it's got a like super creamy. I don't know half a finger of like a khaki head. Um, yeah, Guinness. So I don't know if I was. I can't even remember what I was talking about prior to being stopping and taking a picture. I don't usually do that. <laughs> um, I only drink Guinness around on St. Patrick's Day. It's the only time of the year I drink it. Um, it's fine. It's nothing mind blowing. It's a fun beer to have. It's just something that you do, I guess, stereotypically on St. Patrick's Day. I never used to go out for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I would always just hang out with buddies and drink beers. Um, a lot of times, uh, most of the time, the NCAA tournament would uh, land on or around St. Patrick's Day. So there's been times where I've been in Tahoe in Reno for St. Patrick's Day uh, watching basketball. Those are fun times. So let's show our fat nose in it. So it's it's a super mellow nose. It's roasty, um, a little bit of coffee, but just like, I don't know, it's roasted malts to me. There's a little bit of a sweetness, but it's just, it just has like a faint kind of um, like coffee scent. Nothing like crazy, I don't know, overwhelming, nothing that's like, oh my gosh, that smells amazing. It just, it smells like Guinness. I think too, drinking Guinness out of a can, like it's got a little bit, every time I have a Guinness out of a can, it's got a little bit of a, like a metallic nose. I don't know. Cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I will say the one thing that I love about this beer is just how creamy it tastes. Um, in the glass, I guess, you know, pouring it hard. That's the, it, it just feels like you're drinking a draft beer. I mean, it says Guinness draft on the can. Um, but it's just the mouthfeel on these are awesome, but this is light. Um, uh, that little bit of roast that you smell, you do taste. Um, but it's nothing that's like, oh my gosh, this is just intensely flavorful. It's just one of those beers. It's just a solid, easy drinking stout. 
it's really light um, doesn't feel heavy um, and it just has a little bit of that chocolate kind of coffee roast to it it's nothing um, amazing if you're used to drinking you know stouts these amazing like craft stouts you're probably not a Guinness fan I don't know I don't know why you wouldn't like this beer um, other than maybe if you're like a total stout guy and you're like oh it's just not that flavorful I would agree with that but it's just it's very non-offensive I think this is probably one of the first stouts I ever had if we're being honest um, just because we drink them on St. Patrick's Day it's kind of like a nice entry kind of gateway stout maybe for people it's Guinness that's what it is so um, the magic though of this beer kind of like if anybody anybody Cat Williams fans I don't even know if he's still around I remember it's one of my favorite lines in a stand-up ever Cat Williams years ago said weed is just a plant but if you happen what was it if you happen to set fire to it <laughs> there are effects so the magic of Guinness is if you happen to have Irish whiskey and some cream liqueur you can make a fun super American drink I think I don't think this is an Irish drink even though where I come from they're called Irish car bombs this is the magic of Guinness and this is when St. Patrick's Day gets fun so best way to do this I don't know if this is right this is how we always did it Jameson equal parts so half Jameson and half uh, Bailey's this is all in milk Bailey's because we don't fuck with dairy around here ever and if you guys have never had almond milk Bailey's it is fuego it tastes no different than regular Bailey's and I will stand by that equal parts just leave this here for now this is the end of the video guys <laughs> and you just drop this uh, shot, oops, you drop the shot glass into the beer and you chug it and you have yourself a happy St. Patrick's Day so you guys be safe please don't drive if you're going out drinking drink responsibly have a good time and uh, I'll see you guys next time cheers oh, so good thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade all that shit <laughs> I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.